Hello folks. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible just in response to a question I had on uh, coordination and selective coordination. I hope it's not a jumbled mess. What you're looking at here is a selective coordination chart. This one happens to be for GE but uh, everybody's got them. I'm looking at this document here. But you see I've got ABB and Siemens and Square D also in here um, that you can web search and find them for yourself. In this particular example that I'm going to be doing, it's looking at a couple of GE breakers for selective coordination. So what I've picked out is for the upstream device, the uh, GE S 600 amp SG with a 600 amp plug and a microversa trip unit with the instantaneous set uh, 10 in case somebody wants to turn it up all the way and your downstream breaker is all the way and then the downstream breaker same breaker I've selected an SG 600 amp frame oops it's over here sorry SG 600 amp frame with a 400 amp trip unit and it says that these two will coordinate in the instantaneous region up to 5400 amps over 5400 amps of available fault current and you have overlap now this is important if you have to do selective coordination I don't do much of this because I don't work on a lot of healthcare jobs or, for, or other projects that require a lot of emergency system um, type of coordination but I am aware of it and familiar with it I do have to look at this from time to time so how do you tell this in your SKM model Let's look at our one line here. I just created a 480 volt utility uh, with 30,000 amps available just to get 30,000 amps out there. My 600 amp GE SG series breaker, 480 volt, 600 amp plug with the instantaneous out to 10. Then I've got a feeder breaker. It's a, same breaker microversal trip unit 400 amp instantaneous out to 10 10 times the pickup which is the pickup is 400 amp and then a sub panel clear down here 400 amp 600 amp frame 400 amp this one I've got it at 6 at the moment just for graphically so you can see this a little easier on my TCC now it's up to you to do the coordination here. I can miscoordinate this stuff all I want by changing these settings over here. Um, but what we're concerned with, I can, I can get the main pushed out, the feeder breaker, let's see, such that I can coordinate it with the main, and I can coordinate the sub panel, hopefully, with the. I know I can because I just had it by changing these settings that we see over here. This is the uh, sub-panel main circuit breaker. I can turn it down so it does coordinate a little as close as I can here with the uh, on the long time pickup. That's about as close as I can get it. Sorry for the diversion there. So all of these coordinate nicely but they don't coordinate nicely down here. So I've got overlap. So our, these two breakers that said in the chart should coordinate up to 5400 amps. Well, here's how you can look at that on your SKM coordination curve. Here's my feeder breaker that's within this. Well, where is where's the overlap start? Look at my amps down here. Fifty-two, fifty-four. It's about in that fifty-four hundred amp 
So if your fault currents are less than 5400 amps, these 400 amp breakers will trip and clear before the overlap with the upstream main breaker. I threw this in here because it's got that's cutting this off at its available fault current which was 4000 and something amps so you can see that the sub panel main breaker and the main panel main breaker do coordinate through all time periods with no overlap because of the available fault current down here is only 4358 amps so if a fault occurs here I'm totally coordinated between this breaker and this breaker but I'm not between this breaker and this breaker because I could have more than 45 5400 amps at this one okay hopefully that makes sense um, that's just kind of a lesson to answer the person that was asking me about this on how to look at these charts so I'm selectively coordinated with my instantaneous out to 10 times on the pickups up to 5400 amps over 5400 amps I'm no longer selectively coordinated I've got overlap so definitely for sure here this would never be a problem because I don't have 5400 amps available I've only got 40 4500 or whatever it was or 4400 4300 so you can see where that curves cut off right hopefully that makes sense thanks for watching